Let's go over number 7, min, max, sum. The problem says, given 5 positive integers, so we're given 5 positive numbers, find the minimum and maximum values that can be calculated by summing exactly 4 of the 5, so 4 of the 5 integers. Uh, the print, then print the respective minimum and max values. You want to print them as single line of two separated long integers. Okay, um, so we're given an array of five numbers, five positive numbers. And what we want to do is we want to find the minimum and maximum values that can be uh, calculated by summing four of the five numbers. So we have an array with five numbers and we want to get the maximum and minimum using only four of the numbers. Um, so for this one, for example, that, that I just made, in order for us to get the maximum number, you want to get rid of, rid of the smallest number, right? Which is one. So we would sum all these numbers. And if we want to get the minimum, we would do the opposite. So we want to get rid of five and sum just these first four numbers. And we just want to print them out. And it wants to, us to print out. So we will do console log max and then min. So we're not returning anything over here. And we have an example, and as you can see, in order for us to get the minimum, we're getting um, our, we're we're not adding nine because obviously this is going to be the uh, highest number in the array. And by excluding that, we will we'll be able to get the minimum, and we'll get the uh, maximum by getting rid rid of the uh, smallest number. So we have sixteen for min and twenty four for uh, maximum, and it prints 16 and 24 so it wants us to print minimum and then maximum so min and max like that function description complete the max i mean min what minimax function in the editor below um, i actually think it's, uh, it's called minmax function oh it is mini minimax uh, sum okay minimax sum has the following parameters so it has an array with five integers and it, as as a result we want to print so console log and minimum is gonna come first and then it's gonna be max in performing a single line of five space separated integers so we have an array of numbers this is our constraint output print two spaced separated long integers denoting the respective min and max uh, that can be calculated by summing exactly four of the five numbers. Okay, and again, we have our example, but it's kind of repetitive. So let's get to our code. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. So this is going to be our first solution. So we're going to make our function, which takes in an array. And this array is going to be array of integers. And I'm going to make a variable called sum. And what I do is I'll add all these values into the sum variable. So I just want to get the total sum of whatever the numbers in, is in our array. So in order to do that, I'm just going to use a for loop. Um, let's use for of. Um, so for const num of sum, I mean array what we're doing is we're adding that number into our sum variable so if we could just console log sum what the console log sum we get the sum of the numbers so it's 25 for this one it's 15 for this one so now that we have the total sum of the numbers in the array we want to get the maximum and the minimum um, possible number so i'm going to make a variable called max and this is going to be equal to sum minus math.min dot 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 array. So we have our sum and from that sum, we're subtracting the min, the smallest number in our array, which in this case is one. And then we're subtracting that from our sum. So math.min gets the smallest number um, that's in the array that's given. And we'll do the same for min. So let min is equal to sum minus math dot max right because we want the minimum sum and dot 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 array and 
the problem wants us to console log our solution and min comes first, right? The minimum number comes first. So it'll be min comma uh, max. And if we do that, we get our result, which is going to be... So for the first one, for this array, it's going to be 16 and 24. 16 is going to be our smallest number um, and 24 is our max. And let's just check. So console log sum again. So our total was 25 for this one, right? So 25 minus smallest number, which is one, is going to give us 24, which we have over here. And 24 minus nine is going to have, or it's going to give us 16, which have we have over here. So 16, 24, and 10 and 14 for this. Let's go for our code just to get a better understanding of what it's doing. So we have our function, we have our array, uh, which is going to be an array of integers. And what we did was we declared a um, variable named sum. And this is where we're going to add all the numbers into um, this variable. So we, this is the total sum basically. And we do, we get that by using for of. So for of is pretty much the same thing as a regular for loop, except, except that you don't have an index. So this iterates to all the elements in the array. Um, it's just that we don't, again, we don't have index, no index. Um, and as we're looping, we're adding each number to our sum variable. So after this loop is done, we're going to loop out of it. And then we're making two variables, mass, max and min. And remember, in order for us to get the max, we want to get the total sum and subtract the minimum number in the array. Um, and for the second one, we want to, this is max, this is min. We want to get the sum minus the max number in order to get the smallest sum um, in the array. And after that, we just simply print out whatever um, the result is, but we want the minimum to come first and the max to come first. I mean, to come next. Let's go over Another solution using reduce, uh, the logic is going to be pretty much the same. It's just that we're using reduce to get the sum of our numbers. So what I'll do is I'll make a variable called sum as before, but this time we're going to use reduce. Uh, Array.reduce is going to take two things. First one is our accumulator and next one is current value. And what we're doing is we're going to add the current number to our accumulator. And our accumulator will be starting at zero. So if I just console log this, we're going to just get the sum, like the same as before, sum. And 25 and 15. So this is 25, this is 15, which we got before. So instead of using a for loop to get our sum, we just use reduce. That's, that's the only difference pretty much. And rest, rest of the logic will be the same. So we have, we'll have max, that will be sum minus math.max. Uh, dot 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 spread operator array and the const min is going to equal to sum minus math dot min array okay and they want us to print the solution min comes first and max comes first and there we go we have our same solution as before and you can actually uh, simplify this a little bit more um, you don't have to but we can make this one line you can get rid of this curly braces or brackets get rid of the semicolon get rid of the return statement and bring this over here, bring this over here like that. And we, we still get a result. Um, I guess this is uh, shorter. Um, I don't know if this is easier to read. I actually prefer the first one, but yeah, there we go. Um, if you prefer this way, it's, it's totally up to you. And that's it for our solution.